Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 12 of Let's Build a Suburban House. So, as I mentioned in the previous part, this part was pre-recorded directly after I recorded the last part, and that's because I'm going to my parents' house for Christmas, and it's a lot harder for me to be able to record there because things aren't always as quiet. So, I just wanted to pre-record as much as I could before heading over there, since um, I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to be at my parents. Well, I guess now the time this is going up, I'm there, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to be jumping right into things rather than going over suggestions. And I'm going to be starting off by doing the study, and then hopefully once that's done, I will be able to move upstairs into this main landing area and get that finished. So I'm just going to get right into things with this room. So definitely want to have the same wood floor in here that I've used in the rest of the house. And I was thinking that it might be best, rather than having an arch in this room, to have some double doors. Because, you know, if things are noisy, you'd want to be able to just close the doors and not have to hear all the noise from the rest of the house. And, you know, and maybe you want a little bit of privacy in the study. So I'll just have some double doors in here. So we'll just put these two doors like so. So they're double doors. And that'll give some nice privacy to the study area. And... I probably can go a little bit more modern with the study than with these two rooms here. So I think I will use the ball lights for the ceiling since they do light things up very nicely. Because um, I'll make this kind of a mix of traditional modern, like I'm not going to have overly fancy furniture, but I'm not going to have like super modern furniture in here. So first off, I think that this would be a good area to have the desk and all in, so we'll just switch to this. And as for the desk I use, huh, I wanna, you know, maybe this, we can just go with this, um, this is the desk that was unlocked from the business career track, so I think that this would be really nice to use in here, because it's not, it's not too traditional, but it's not really modern, so I think it's perfect. And I do have the sheet on to unlock career objects and also move objects, the move objects on sheet right now, in case anyone's wondering. So we'll just go with this desk, and I think that this color's fine. And then we can also use the really fancy chair that came with it also. Although, I'm not sure if I want to keep the red so we can see what else there is. So you know what, I think we can just go with a nice black color. And then there... was there a computer? I don't know if there's a computer that was unlocked through... okay, that's through the criminal branch. So I don't think any of these unlocked computers were through the new careers. I think I'm just going to go with this one. I don't think you'd really have a super high-tech computer in here. And then definitely a nice standard desk lamp here. And then we do want to change the color of that, so I think just a black desk lamp would be fine. And then of course we need the little desk-appropriate knick-knack type item, so like the pen cup and all of that stuff. Actually, is there another one that came with the unlock stuff? I can't remember. There's this, but that that's a little bit that's a little bit too traditional. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in there. Why they would be writing with a quill. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna use this. We're just gonna have this one here. And we'll just angle it slightly towards that. And you know what? I'll keep this one white. And then we can have some books back there. And I don't know what else we want. I think that that's pretty good. I don't want things to get too cluttered on this desk here. You know, I think that that color for that is fine. And then back here, what can we have back here? We definitely want to have a rug of sorts right here. So maybe for this room we can actually use this. Just have it under the desk somewhat. Well, I don't know, maybe we don't need a rug under there. Also, I should probably just get the curtains in here first. Um, I mean, we could... I don't know if we want to have the desk out here this way, and then have a bunch of bookshelves lining that wall there. Maybe have it like that, but then you... I don't know, I kind of want it so the desk is facing away from the door when you walk in, which I think... You know, I think this way looks a little bit more better because of that, but perhaps over on... This wall here, we could just line it with bookshelves, so I know we... what is this? So we could just have this one go all the way across. And maybe we could just move it, like, so these overlap some. There we go. And then let's see if we can fit in. Okay, so we can't fit in another one there. Yeah, that looks a little bit weird. That didn't quite line up perfectly. 
Um, maybe some, I don't know if we just want to have these go all the way across. Or we could have this. Or we could give this a try again. We could just do... We could just do this. I mean, maybe that doesn't look so bad. You know what? I think that, I think that actually looks kind of good. So we can just do that and make these a little bit darker to match the desk. So I guess this room is, is, is actually ending up with a pretty formal look to it. And then probably a reading chair in there would be good as well. So we can just have... Maybe this, maybe this, ooh, this one. So this room has a very executive look to it. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks pretty well, and I mean, we can just... I know this is kind of blocking off the bookshelf, but I mean, you've got like two other bookshelves to pick books from, so I don't think it's that huge of a deal. And then we do need... we do need a light right here, for the re a reading light. Okay, so we don't want to go with that one. Probably this one right here, the same one we used out in the formal living room, so I think that looks really good. So we've got kind of a nice reading area in there right in front of a bookshelf. And then probably a painting over here. So once again, like I said before, I'm going to have to repeat paintings. I think this one looks really nice. And then we do need a chess table in here somewhere. And I know, I don't think I'm going to put art equipment in here. We can have a separate room, like we can have one of the bedrooms be an artsy theme room or something like that, or maybe put an art easel upstairs in the landing area for the kids. Um, I'm not sure that that would really fit in here. But um, I think that the, there we go, there's a chess table. So we can have this one, that one's a little bit too big. I think this one, or actually this one looks more like an indoor appropriate one. But then again, I just, I don't really like any of the colors that goes with, that comes in, that one comes in. So maybe just go with this one. Since this one does come in a darker color. Oh, it's a little bit of a different wood, but there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. And as for a chair, we can want to go with something kind of fancy. So we could just do that. Ah, there we go. All right, maybe that looks good. I just wish the I wish the chest table came in a darker color, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I just kind of have to deal with what's there. Although we could try lightening up the desk some, maybe. But then again, the lighter color doesn't really match it perfectly anyway. Um, so you know what? I guess that's that's fine. Oh, but maybe that one looks a little bit better. So maybe we can lighten these some up up some. <laughs> You know what, maybe that looks a little bit better. I'm all, I mean, all the woods are slightly different, but then again, nothing... You know, most homes I've seen, nothing, not everything matches perfectly, so I guess that's fine. Uh, but we just have a nice little chess table there, and probably a painting above that will look really nice as well. So we can just add in... Uh, let's go with... But then again, I'm pretty sure we've, always, we've already used that, but we can go with this one right... <sighs> If I can grab it, we can go with this one right here, which was added back in, which was unlocked with the career object. So we can try that one out. And then just go with a darker color here. And then perhaps a bonsai tree will look nice in the corner back here. So, I don't know, they can just take a break from work and tend to their tree. <laughs> um, okay, so that doesn't have any redesigns, unfortunately. So maybe we can just have that there and then have another plant in the corner. Um, we could go with this. I know I keep using this one, but I just, I really like it. And I feel like it fits in really well in here. So we just have to scooch that away a little bit so it doesn't show through any walls. And then we could change it to a brown base. And then perhaps after that we do want to change this to something else. Actually, let's see what other activity types there are. Maybe we could actually just put in an easel in here. There is this nice one that was unlocked. But then again, I don't know, Like I, I feel like this just isn't really a room that would have an easel in it. Although, maybe we could have a violin here, since violins are pretty fancy. Uh, but then again, I don't know, it's really small. Maybe we could just have two of these plants and have it be sort of symmetrical back there. Maybe that would look nice. And I just have to check in there really quick. Um, 
I think that looks pretty nice looking back there behind the desk and seeing those plants. And I can't really do anything else over here because of the door there. We could put in a trash can because, you know, sometimes you want to have a trash can beside your desk to throw away some papers in. So we could try something there. I don't know about this. Maybe this cool barrel trash can. That could look kind of neat in there. Yeah, I think that that looks pretty nice. I don't know if I want to get too much furniture going in here. Perhaps we also want to go with some nicer curtains. So I guess even though I started out this part by saying that this wasn't going to be an overly traditional office, we're getting a pretty fancy traditional office in here. But, uh, you know, it looks pretty nice, so I think it's fine. I think the red color's pretty good. It ties in nicely with the chairs there, and I think it fills out the room pretty pretty well. So we don't have a ton of furniture everywhere in here, but then again, you don't want to just stick in a ton of stuff and have it look really cluttered. As for a rug, though, I'm not exactly sure what to how to place things. We could just have one right there and have that be it. Because I don't want to end up with too many rugs and just have the room really covered in them. Yeah, so we could just have a nice simple brown rug there and then maybe another one back here. Or we could just have one back here and then not have one out there. Well, I don't know, maybe it looks fine. Or we could also try using this as a rug like I did out there. I don't really like that. You know, we could just have this rug here and keep it kind of simple as far as rugs go, not have too much. And then now we can just pick out the wallpaper for here. So we could go with something kind of new. Whoa. <laughs> we could go with something kind of neutral like this, but I don't know about that. Maybe we want to go with a darker green. Although that doesn't really look that great. Perhaps we want to go with something a little bit lighter in here since all the furniture is rather dark. I think a light beige colored wall like that would look pretty good. And then we could throw in a darker accent wall. And why is that gonna ugh, remove all those objects? That's kind of weird. I it's so annoying when it does that. But I was thinking perhaps a darker wall color could look nice. We could just do this, and then of course I got to get rid of those two items. But then again, that matches the dark the dark curtains a little bit too well. You know, what, I think I'll just leave the walls like this for the time being. I mean, I feel like there isn't really a ton of furniture in this study, but then again, like I said, you don't want things to get too overwhelmingly cluttered, so you know what, I think it might be fine. Although I just still feel like a darker color might look good somewhere on some of the walls, so perhaps we could try this again. So maybe that looks kind of nice. I know this is the same color I used out here. Uh, but I think it looks nice. It keeps things kind of neutral. And now we... Oh, got rid of everything. Alright, so I have to go put that stuff back in. Alright, so all those objects are back in there. And now that I think about it, I think maybe a painting over here would look pretty good. So let's see what we have that we haven't used yet, which isn't really a whole lot. We could just do that one, but I want more of a... more of a... maybe... Ugh, I've used this a couple times, but... Oh well, we can just use it again, and then maybe this wall over here, and it- Okay, I give up. <laughs> We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave it like this. I think that's fine. I don't know if I should put another rug in there. I don't know if I want to do that. It might be too- make things a little bit too busy in the rug department. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe it would look fine to just have a- maybe one of these just regular old- Circular rugs right there in front of the door. We could just have a We can just have a white rug right there And then maybe change that one to be white. I don't know, but then again You guys can let me know what you think of the rug situation in here It's just kind of hard because I'm not the rugs in this game aren't really I don't know sometimes it's just I find it kind of difficult to choose rugs, but perhaps we can just have this rug here We keep this one there and then just place this rug underneath of the chair here. So we could just do that, and then that ties in nicely with the wall. So you know what, I think actually that looks fine, and then the white in this rug ties in with here, with this rug here, so it all just kind of goes together well, and perhaps we actually want another painting in here. Or we can add some shelving. Ooh, maybe we could add a trophy case. We could try adding in the trophy case that came with the athletic patch and put some trophies in it, some more trophies. That could be kind of cool. So if I could figure out where that is. I haven't found a trophy case yet, but I did find this little Zen Garden thing right here. That is one of the items unlocked from the business career track, so I think that could be another really cool thing to have in here. 
Um, definitely, definitely a good thing for an office like this. I did also just find this little duffel bag of cash object that was unlocked from the criminal career path, so I think that could be pretty cool to have in here. So we can have it be red to tie in with things a little bit more, so just kind of like a briefcase full of money. Um, uh, let's see, what else? I don't want to add that in. Um, I know, ooh, business card holder. This could be another cool little thing, so we can have that in there. So getting some more realistic clutter on this desk here. And then also here is another desk nameplate, so we can just add that in there. So we're starting to get a lot of clutter here on this desk. Um, I think that green color, that green marbly kind of a color for it is nice. There's also this little pie chart, so we could add that in as another, and the chair disappeared. Okay, so I have to add that back in. Um, maybe we can just have that over here in the corner. And then we've got to add this back in, that unfortunately disappeared. Um, okay, yeah, they're successful, they're linked. All right, there we go. We just had that in there so they still work. And then we can see what kind of color options are for that. So I think I like that one best. Oh, oh you know what? Actually, we could just get rid of this plant because I was kind of worried about it looking too symmetrical with the two plants in there. So we could just add in a pie chart here. And then I'm still searching for that trophy case. So I just remember the whole search feature. So here we go. There is a case. It was in the display, so no wonder I couldn't find it. So I can just put that on the wall here, and then we can get some nice trophies in it. Uh, maybe, you know what, I think the darker color looks better, so now we can go back to statues and find some trophies to put in there. So I think we could add another one of these sales trophies in here, and then another one. Let's see, what else can we put in here? We could add in, we can add in this, there we go. So now we got some businessy type stuff in here. And then uh, maybe we want to just get rid of that plant and not have anything in the corner there, or... Since we have the trophy case, we can have the pie chart thing in that corner there. So there we go. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe look better with the plan and... You know, we can just keep it like that. We could try this color here instead of this lighter beige. So something a little bit darker. So perhaps that'll look fine. So you know what? I think that looks good. I'll move on from here for the time being. You, you all can let me know what you think of this. But I'm just going to go ahead and finally move on upstairs. So this floor here is pretty much done. So I'm just going to start things off by working on the landing area here. And then we do need to put the doors to the bedrooms in. So we'll just have these bathrooms accessible through... The bathroom here accessible through the bedrooms only. Then we got... Oops, I want to center that. And then we've got this door here. And then this bathroom is accessible off the hallway. We also do need some lights and some railings up there, so I'm just going to use the ball light up there since that's going to be a more casual type of an area. So we'll just we'll just center it in here and then we need another one or something over here. We can put one of these in here for the time being, but I might end up just replacing that to being a wall light. And then we do need to put the, stat, the stairs to the attic back in. I kind of forgot about the accident got deleted and I kept forgetting to add those back in, but now they're back in and then... We do also need a door to the bedroom. So we can just do some double doors right here at the top of the stairs. And then lastly, we need the fences to fix that up. So I think this one is the correct one. There we go. Yeah, that matches. So there we go. We got our railings up there. And I think right here, having another accent table just centered right in there might look pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. So I think for right here, I'll use this one that was in the foyer, but I got rid of. And then we'll make it a white color just to break up some of the browns. And then as for a painting above it, we can use this one here, which was one of the unlocked ones. And these ones, let's see. For some reason, I was like thinking it was like the bitey bug ones where it changes, but I think that looks really nice in there. So we can just leave that, and then we can put some items on here. So it was suggested that I use this area sort of a kid's study area, so I'll see what I can fit in here. But um, I might not be able to fit a whole lot, since there's kind of a lot of the space, a lot of the wall space is taken up by doors, so I'm not sure they'll be able to fit a whole lot of furniture in there, but we can see. But my goal is to do this before ending the part, so we can have that in there, and then let's make this blue. And then around it, let's have... We can have some candles, maybe. So let's just go to decorations and pick those out. 
So maybe it'll look nice to symmetrically place some candles like this. And then I do want to change them to a different color, so we can try white. You know what? I don't know that I really like that. Maybe I'll just go with... Maybe I'll just go with one of these little little pictures right here. So we can just go with this, and then there was that one picture here that was unlocked from the athletic stuff, so we can add that in there, like it's a kid's sport team or something like that. So that's a pretty nice touch for there, and then that does leave enough space for Sims to get into the bedroom there, and then perhaps we can place a little plant, a little plant on the floor here. We also, you know what, actually, I think I want to use this, this one. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty good. And then we could, I know I had a backpack downstairs, but we could add another one in up here and just make it a different color, like it's another one of the ones, because this house has a lot of bedrooms, so there would be a lot of kids in it, so I think it makes sense that there would be more backpacks left around everywhere. So we can just use that brown one in here. And we can also pick out a nice big rug for right here in the center area. So let's see how big we can go. Uh, that's a little bit too much. There is this one, but then I don't know about the colors it comes in. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go with that one. We could try this. I think that this will look pretty good in here. Yeah, I like how that looks, so we could go with that. Maybe a more blue color, so perhaps this that would tie in with the painting a bit. Although not completely. We could also, ooh, we could do that. We could try this one right here, the same one that I used down in the living room, but in a different color, of course. Although that maybe go, yeah, I think that looks fine. It centers nicely in that area. So we could figure out what kinds of colors, what other colors do we want here, so... That's the same color down in the living room currently. We could try this one out. Or maybe not. Maybe a more neutral cream colored one like this. I think that looks pretty good. Or we could go with a more fun color. Then, I don't know. I think maybe the more neutral color we have here looks pretty good. So we can just keep it like that. And then a painting here would be good. So let's see what we want to add in. We could add... I don't know about that. That might be a little bit too colorful for in there. We could add this one in. Although, I don't want things to be too fancy in here. So we could go with some more fun type ones. We could do this one, or maybe a motivational poster. Well, that could be something I see going better in a bedroom. We could also try, let's see, what is this? That's definitely something that would go really good in a bedroom. There's also this, and these are things I unlocked from the athletic career. We could just do this, but then again, I want a more square type painting that centers there a little bit better. Or not square, more like rectangle. <laughs> we could use this one. I think this one might look nice. We could just make it the. We could just make it that color, or we could go create. We could go a little bit brighter and have it be green. I don't know. Or we could go with the red one. I think I think maybe that one looks a little bit better. There was also in the wall decorations, there was another thing similar to that that might look better. So let's see what other colors we have for this. Or that up. I think that look that one looks pretty good. And then as for right here, this will be a kid's room. So maybe it would look nice to add some toy type clutter in there. Um, like, the kids just left the toys right in front of the room. So I think here, where was the one where there was the more... There we go, here's where there's some of the more miscellaneous toys. The little bit bigger ones. So we could have this here, and then maybe a little... Okay, that might be a little bit too big to be left behind. We could also add this little guy in. Here. So I don't know, maybe that looks fine. I don't know if that looks weird or not. So I know, I know I've used this one a little bit already, but we can just put this one in here. Um, so we've got some, some toy clutter in there, which I guess kind of makes sense. Seeing as that's right next to where a kid's bedroom would be. And kids aren't always the best about putting their toys away, so we can just have some smaller ones in here as well. So there we go, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I really don't think there's going to be room for there to be a kid's study area in here. I mean, we could have a little desk here for the kids. Um, so, uh, let's see. I don't know if you want to add in... 
the kids' desk. There was a kids' desk, I believe. Kids' desk, I believe, but uh, maybe we don't want to go with that one. Maybe we just just want to go with the more simple desk here. Yeah. So here was the kids' one, but I don't know if you'd want to have that out in the main area. So we can just add this one in here and keep it in the white color. And we could go with a more fun colored chair to go with the whole kids' theme. So we could add that in there, and then, you know, let's make it green. And I don't think I'm going to have a computer on here. Uh, we can just have a lamp and some books and stuff like that on here. So we can just add this lamp here. And maybe we'll have it, you know, I think I'll just, I'll just have it be brown like normal. Maybe we want to actually have the desk be a little bit darker. Maybe this color. Yeah, I like that color. I think that actually looks a little bit better. And then there was the stack of books decoration, so I can go ahead and add that in. And another pencil cup, too. So this, these books are right here, which should... Yep, there we go. They fit up there. And then the little pencil cup, which is right here. So this is just a desk that, since it doesn't have, have anything here, the kids can just sit there and do their homework. And then we can add another bunch of books right there, just make it look really cluttered with books. And then maybe we can also just throw in a little toy on here, like one of the kids just dropped it there and left it. Just to annoy the older siblings who might use this desk. So we can just add that little llama guy right there and just change it to green so it matches the chair. And then perhaps a bulletin board, a cork board would look good up there above that. So here we go, we can add this one here. I'm not sure if this is too cluttered or not. You guys can let me know what you think of it. Um, but, you know, I mean, in home, sometimes things are just really cluttered anyway. And then we could also add in another... Maybe we could have the more orderly books up here, like the more stacked ones, like these up here, and then have a stack of books on the floor partially underneath of the desk. And let's see if we can move this. And I think it looks fine the way it is. So there we go, we could do that. Although maybe we want the ones with the this one right here. Maybe that'll look a little bit better on top of the desk. And then we could just do a different coloring than the, what was downstairs. So that just is a really cluttered looking desk area. And that's about all we're really going to be able to fit up here because there's not a ton of space in here. And then we can add another painting in there between these two doors. And then that'll really be it there as far as furnishing. So we can try this one, which just looks like some nice family portraits. So that works pretty well in there. And then maybe another plant in this corner. Um, this is going to be a teen's room, so there's not really going to be any toys sitting in front of it. We could do not that one. Ooh, this one. There we go. I haven't used this. Was I think I was looking for this one before. But I really do like it, so we'll use this one. And then we could try... I think there was a... We can try a green color. So there we go. That looks pretty nice. I don't want to get too many, too much stuff in here and have it look really cluttered. Although maybe it would look better if we change the color of this. I'm not sure if maybe having green is a little bit too much for this area. And then maybe we want to change that back to white. And then we can try adding in the wall coloring now. So I'm just going to use the same painting type that I've used throughout the whole house. I don't know if we want to keep it the mint green. We probably do want to go with a different color for, for up here. We could go with a nice coral, which oh, then it's going to delete all those objects. Um, that's a little bit too dark, especially since there's no windows in here. We definitely need something really light for this area. I don't know, maybe the mint green is perfectly fine in here since it's very nice and bright. And it also doesn't remove any of the items because when us, some of the other wall colors will just take out all the items, which is really annoying. And then I do think we need one last painting in here. So I know I've used this before, but like I said before, it's very difficult to not reuse paintings. And then perhaps we could throw in a beige wall. Maybe we could try the light beige wall we didn't... Ooh, I actually like how that looks. That ties in really nicely with the rug. And then maybe we could have the mint green wall as sort of an accent. And then... Oh, shoot. I got rid of everything. All right. Well, that's really annoying. But we could... Great. All right. So I have to go ahead and replace all of that. But we could have that kind of be, like, just so there's some different wall colors in here. Um, I think that looks pretty nice. And then maybe over here we could have the mint again. So I think that looks pretty interesting because you have this wall to match with this rug. 
And then now I'm just going to go put these objects in really quick. Alright, so I just put all of those objects back in really quick, and I think there needs to be a little bit more light right up above here, because it looks a little bit too dim. So we can just put a wall light in really quick, and I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So that does help to brighten up this area some. So I think that's about all the furnishing that I want to put in this area, because I, like I said, I don't want there to be too much going on in here, and it'll look better once all of this is furnished as well. But you all can feel free to leave your suggestions for what you think I... Any changes you think I should make to this area, or to the study, or to these rooms here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and bye!